Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to show you my experiment, most recent experiment with um, the so-called Internet of Things. Um, it's not exactly the Internet of Things since I believe the definition refers to being able to control things through Internet but kind of physical objects. Um, I don't know, an example would be turning on the lights by sending yourself a Twitter message. Um, you can certainly do that, and I can certainly show you how to do that later. Um, currently, I'm just running a Rhino Grasshopper uh, definition. Um, although I do uh, have a server online that I'm, I'm able to send tweet messages, tweet uh, certain values to it, and what Grasshopper does, um, you can see on the screen right now, it links to an XML file on, that's that's hosted online, and it creates a list of values. Um, what it is, it's it's an old Pachu uh, reader. Right now, it has been. Uh, let me show you this. Uh, it's actually called Cosm now, since Cosm has uh, has bought it. So, what I was able to do is, um, I was able to set up my Twitter account to. Uh, tweet messages to Cosm, and then inside of Grasshopper, I'm streaming those uh, those messages, and you know as long as they're numerical values, I can uh, I can use those values to then uh, run some geometry on the screen. Uh, later, I'll probably hook up an Arduino to it and maybe move some move some servos, move some DC motors. Um, I don't know, maybe even do a mock-up. Hopefully, I can do a mockup, like a full scale mockup for it. Uh, all right, so let's run through this quickly. Um, kind of created a little geometry based on two circles, and then it creates catenary curves between the two connected by lines. Um, what it needs is a, um, a slider, a number slider, or a number value um, that moves the point around the perimeter. Uh, um, if not the perimeter, but the circumference of the of the circle, um, and you can see that the geometry kind of changing its values. Um, the other curve can move as well. Um, that's why I have two values set up. I can control both of them. Um, so let let me show you how to how to do that. Uh, so instead of using those two sliders, I'm actually going to connect the two values that I'm getting from uh, from Pashub or Pashub, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that correctly um, so here we are here's where the values are coming from and let me bring in another window in uh, here's my Twitter account and if I go to direct messages, close this and I'll show you. Um, so that's my Twitter account. And if I visit my direct messages, I have uh, I have an account that's called Patch Tweet, um, and I can tweet direct messages by saying set and one three one zero forty four is my um, is the feed number and then the two following numbers uh, right now uh, are the two two values that I'm going to be setting those curves to so let's uh, let's move one of them to 200 from 266 and the other one let's let's stay in the same place let's leave it at 302 so that message just got sent to my uh, to my Pashu new cousin um, let me see what those were. 200 and 302. So if I go to my to my Cosmo account and reload, they didn't update over here yet, but obviously my Grasshopper has already uploaded. I'm uh, updated those. So 200 and 302, and that's what changed the curve here. So let me let me do this again. Let's send the same message. And let's move it to 212. 
and 306. So let's move both of them. So I just tweeted the direct message. If I come here, gotta wait a few seconds. Internet is not the fastest way. Still thinking. And there it is, just move. So here we are, 212 and 306. So pretty quickly, I mean, there's a few second delay, obviously, but um, I was able to use my Twitter account to send myself direct messages and update geometry in Grasshopper. Um, I'm probably going to do another video uh, showing you exactly how I've set up this. It's pretty simple. Uh, it's a pretty simple setup geometry wise. Um, there's some specific things that you need to do to be able to hook up your Twitter account to Protrube. Um, but it's not it's not really that complicated. Um, I'm going to do another video and explain all that. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to be posting um, some images and maybe even the grasshopper script if needed. Um, I'm going to be posting it to my to my website. Here's my website, rkey-lab.net. Um, if you go to my blog from 2012, here's the later post that I've been doing, and I'm probably going to throw it in uh, with the rest of it. So keep tabs on my on my uh, blog, and probably in the next few days, maybe even tomorrow. Um, I'll post a tutorial how to uh, hook up your Twitter account to a Cosm server and be able to tweet yourself messages uh, and have them be streamed into your Grasshopper to control geometry. All right, thanks for listening, and um, I hope you uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.